welcome to today's episode with me, Dallas Pruitt. And this week we are on part two of values that create really poor problems. Yesterday we covered pleasure. Today we're going to dive into material success. Now, an error that a lot of people make is they measure their self-worth based on how much money they make or what kind of truck they drive or maybe even how greener their lawn is than their next in comparison to their next door neighbor's lawn and how beautiful their yard looks. Look, research has been conducted and it has come back and shown that once you are able to provide for your basic physical needs, things like food and water and shelter, the correlation between happiness and worldly success quickly approaches, you guessed it, zero. So what this means here is that if you were starving and living on the streets in Sao Paulo, Brazil, an extra $10,000 a year would absolutely affect your happiness exponentially, right? That's what the data states. But what the, all, but what the data also states, and this is the interesting part, is that if you were sitting pretty, meaning you had all these basic needs covered and then some in the, let's say, middle class here in the United States of America, an extra 10000 that same extra $10,000 per year would not really affect much at all. Meaning that you're killing yourself by working overtime and weekends for basically nothing, right? What this means, what all of this means is well, in conjunction with all of this, another issue with overvaluing material success, which again is our focus today, is the danger that it poses of you placing it on the priority list above much more important values. You know, values like honesty and integrity, values like compassion and kindness. Look, when people measure, when you measure yourself, not by your behavior, but by your status that you're able to collect through your accomplishments, then that is a recipe that breeds shallowness. And not only that, but you probably become a very unlikable individual in the process. And not that your goal is to be liked by everyone, but when you cross over the line of not just being unliked because of what you're doing, but you are just a straight jerk, that is extremely problematic. And this is what can happen when we value material success over or above other much more important values on our priority list. So again, today's invite is to gut check yourself. That's really the invite this entire week is gut check yourself on your values. Are you placing high value in the areas that are good, in the areas that do produce a better life, in the areas that do produce better problems for you, right? Or are you placing your focus, your time, and your energy into bad values? Bad, bad values meaning values that do not produce a better life, values that complicate and perpetuate problems as you continue to grow financially, as you continue to grow in certain aspects of your life, right? Material success. Be careful. Be cautious. It can be very become very problematic if that is a value that you've placed too far up on your priority list. Are we saying don't go out? Am I saying don't go out and strive to have nice things? Absolutely not. I'm saying gut check yourself and make sure that your priorities are in check. Because if they're not and you continue to grow financially, well then, again, problems become perpetuated, complicated, and you could be in a really sticky situation in the near future. Again, keep your priorities in check. Today we covered material success. Tune in tomorrow. We will be covering always being right, the value of always being right. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys back here again tomorrow.